one of the hardest things to do is keep up with all of the AI news that is happening right now. So I built this really simple automation to send me a daily news digest of all of the most important information to me. What's really cool about a system like this is this can be customized to you for all of the news sources that you like, for all of the things that you are looking for. So let me show you how this system works. If you want to get access to the system already built for you or join thousands of others learning how to build and sell AI automations in seven days, I will leave a link in the description where you can sign up for the community. So here's how the system works. At a high level, you're just putting in a list of news feeds. In my case, I'm actually using a lot of feeds from Reddit. You're filtering out content from the last six hours so we know it's really current current and up to date. We're then processing it to determine which content is actually relevant and useful for us. We're saving this inside of a database. And then down here, we're just using an email composer to reformat that in the nice email that you saw. So again, we get something that looks like this in our inbox every single morning. We can use this to create content. We can use this to communicate with our audience. We can basically just use this to stay on top of everything that is important during the day. So I'm going to click run so I can show you exactly how the system works. And I'm going to show you how you can customize this for yourself. So the first thing that we are doing is we are using a schedule trigger to kick off this automation. If you've never built an automation before, you just hit tab on your keyboard, go ahead, type schedule, and this is the schedule trigger. Add this to your workflow, and you can see we can trigger this every single day, every week, every month, how often you want. I'm just triggering this at 6 a.m. every morning, so by the time I wake up, I have something in my inbox all ready to go. From there, you can really add as many sources as you like. Here, I'm just using a bunch of subreddits. What's really cool is that you can get these feeds from any subreddit. They follow a really predictable format. You can see reddit.com slash r slash the name of the subreddit. And then you can do new, top, best, right? These categories should be familiar to you if you've ever been on Reddit before. And then you can set the limit to however many posts you want. In this case, I'm just using 100. So what this is doing is it's going through the micro SaaS subreddit, the N8N subreddit, generative AI, chat GPT, and the automation subreddit just to get the most current posts. It's getting 100 from each one of these categories. We're throwing these all into a merge node to stick them end to end to end to end. You can see this is returning 500 items here. So it's a lot of items, but then we're going to use a filter node to bring in all of the content here and just make sure that the date is within the last six hours. So we're just compressing those 500 items down just to the most recent 72 items, which is still a lot, but that's why we're then going to actually process this to extract the ones that are the most important or most relevant to you or me in this case. And this part is really cool because you can customize this to whatever criteria that you want. So the next thing we're doing, if I zoom in here, is we're just formatting this content just so we kind of have it broken up. Let me just open this up here. You can see we have the title, the author, the link, and the content. And we're just going through these filters and we're just bringing this in here, the title, we're bringing the link, we're bringing in the author, and then we're gonna go ahead and just bring in this content just so we can kind of clean it up for us. And then from there, we're passing this over to ChatGPT, which is really where the magic happens. So this is just an AI signal filter. It's just designed to give you anything that's important and remove anything that isn't. So the magic is really happening in this system prompt. So let me just back out here for a second so you can see how this is set up. If you've never connected N8N to OpenAI or ChatGPT before, I'll leave a link up top where I walk you through exactly how to find your API key. It takes 90 seconds, literally. Here, we're just selecting the latest model, 5.2 Pro. We're using the Pro model because we are feeding in a lot of information here, and so we just want to make sure we have a large enough context window to understand all of it. From here, we're just sending off a system message and then a user message. And the system message is how you want the system to behave. And the user message is basically just like your chat box inside of ChatGPT. And so in the user message, we're literally just feeding in all of this content that we've aggregated together. So this is all of the news that we have scraped. And then the system message is where we really tell it what to do. And this is the part that you can customize to you. So what's relevant to you? So this just says you are a Reddit signal extractor for startup AI automation communities. You'll receive a list of Reddit posts as raw scrape text tells it what it's going to receive and the goal is to extract the most high value interesting information for a builder or founder audience we want to make sure it's not overly technical we want to be clear and practical and all these things and then this is the part that's the most important right so here's what high value means and this is just for me again this is the part that you can customize we want to prioritize items that reveal strong product or market patterns why something would or wouldn't work 
real founder pains, mistakes, or durable lessons, clear positioning, niche selection, pricing, distribution tactics, concrete metrics like MRR, costs, right? Any emerging opportunities or unsolved problems, then any user sentiment patterns or recurring complaints or things like that. And then anything we want to downrank or just skip is like memes, low effort posts, anything that's just an image only, right? So anything that is just really not going to be all that useful for us. And then here we just have the output format, the top signals, the notable metrics and facts, and any recurrent themes. And then just some rules for kind of styling and formatting. And then from there, we're just taking that information and we're sending this over to our Airtable database. This is a very like basic database. It literally just has a timestamp for when this was created and a summary. And we can just go in here and we can see the latest. This is just kind of our latest posts right in here. And this is just for storage and reference. If we want to kind of have something that we can always reference, this is a great place to store all of this information, right? But what's really cool is that from there, we can just send everything that our signal filter created, we can just send this to another chat GPT model. And this is why automations are so powerful because you can transform this data in so many ways. So again, we have this user prompt where we're just bringing in all of the text content here. And then again, the system prompt is converting the content from our filter into something that's formatted nicely for an email. It just says, this is your role. You turn curated Reddit posts into a daily email for founders, builders, and operators. Your job is not to analyze trends. Your job is to surface copyable ideas, mechanisms, and angles that already show demand. So we want this to write like Alex Hermosi explaining a business idea in 20 seconds. He is the master at taking complex ideas and making them really simple. We want to compress it aggressively. We want to let numbers do the convincing, kill all fluff and meta-analysis. If it doesn't make the reader think, oh, I could build that, it's too abstract. So then we just go ahead and say the inputs come from Reddit and just some more formatting things. And so again, this is the part that you can customize to you if there is a way that you like your newsletter to be. If you wanna get access to this one already built for you, again, check the link in the description to join the community. If you wanna know how to build these for yourself, basically you would just go over to ChatGPT and say, hey, I need to create a system prompt that's going to take Reddit posts and format them in a newsletter with these requirements. So just tell ChatGPT what you want and it could help create something like this for you. And then this is the exact structure that we want and again, some more formatting rules. And then from there, it's really simple. It's just producing a subject line for our email and a body for the email. So we're just taking this, we're going over to the Gmail node, we've connected this to our Gmail account, we're sending this to my email address right here, we're bringing in the subject line that ChatGPT just generated for us, and the body HTML in here, which is all formatted nicely, and then the email type is HTML. And one more thing I'll do is just append and add an attribution, and I'll just turn this off for future. I'll show you why, just because it's nicer. If you are sending automated emails, just know that feature is there, because if I come into my inbox, and I can open this up. I'll scroll to the bottom real quick. You can see this email was sent automatically with n 8 n so I just turned that off. That's that little toggle you just saw me use. But now we have here are nine simple product and growth ideas pulled from Reddit today. First customer runway calculator and checklist. This is from the Indie SaaS founders. This replaces vague launch times with a weekly plan and leading indicators until your first dollar. So fewer founders quit at month two thinking that they failed. And then here it just links to the source of this first article. And then it goes on to do this for another couple posts like a text to animation generator, Reddit viral to paid conversion sprint, builders getting reach but had zero dollars MRR. So they built something that turns a viral post into a seven-day funnel, waitlist, beta, paid pilots, public case study. So this seems pretty cool. So I might want to check this out. Really quick, let me show you how you can set up your own RSS feeds if you don't want to use Reddit. There's a great platform called rss.app. You get up to, I think, 15 feeds for free, and you can basically build these feeds from anything. We have the small news site, which is really great. This actually, this guy just goes through and updates every single day with the latest news. You can see today, not much happened today, which I think is pretty funny. But if you wanted to create your own feed from all of this, you can just go ahead, copy the URL, come over to rss.app, go ahead and click new feed, and I'll just leave a link in the description where you can sign up for this. Go ahead, paste in the link that you wanna use, click generate, and it just takes a couple of seconds. And then from there, you can click save to feed, and now you have this XML or this link to this specific feed. So if I were to copy this, I can come back over into my N8N automation, and instead of this micro SaaS from Reddit, I can replace this here if I click execute step, now we're actually just going to go through and now it's reading everything from that news site, which is pretty cool. You can do the same thing with Twitter. If we want to use Greg Eisenberg's Twitter, you can copy this, come over to rss.app, click new feed, paste this in here, click generate. And in a couple seconds, we have all of Greg's posts all ready to go. So if we want to track certain users or certain creators, we can create our own feed from this. And again, update the node inside of NA. If you thought this video was cool, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to see the automation that I built to become a reply guy on Reddit, check out this video right here.